Good evening, church. Welcome to our Wednesday devotion for this week after Thanksgiving week. Welcome to all of you from everywhere. You know, a couple of weeks back on Sunday, we heard the story of blind Bartimaeus. And the part that we usually remember of this story is where Jesus says, go. Your faith has made you well. And immediately, Bartimaeus regained his sight and began following Jesus on the road. Now, Scripture talks a lot about being on the road or being on a path. Paths and roads generally take you somewhere. And I'm not sure what path you might need to take, but I'm pretty sure that you need to take it. I don't know I don't know what your next step is, but I'm pretty sure you have one. And I don't know what your relationship is to God or to this church, but I'm pretty sure that no matter where you are on the path, no matter what next step you need to take, there is always a next step. I read this great line from a sermon years ago don't quite remember the who or the where, but I do remember the quote. And the line was, the preacher said this, he said, if you don't take the next step, you're going to get stuck in a rut. And the only difference between a grave and a rut is the length. Now, I probably, like you, needed to think about that for a while, maybe a long while. So, I'm going to help you out a little bit. The only difference between a grave and a rut is the length. Now, I talk a lot about getting stuck. I talk a lot about getting stuck in old ways and stuck in old habits. But one of the new habits that we have created is moving away from our faith journey. We might have gotten stuck once in a while. We might have taken a, a U-turn a few times, but these days it seems that a lot more people than I have ever seen are just plain stuck, stopped in their tracks, or hanging on to the past. The problem is, God really wants you to move forward, really wants you to grow, and God really wants to help you but God isn't going to help you with steps two, three, or more until you take step one. You know, we are rounding the corner soon to the season of Advent. It's just a week and a half away. What a great time, what a great opportunity to take that first step, that step one, to move out of the rut and into a new and brighter future. Don't let those ruts accumulate. Don't let those ruts lengthen because you know what that means. It's time to step into a new and a brighter life. Now, let's go back to our, our dear friend Bartimaeus. Before he met Jesus, what was he doing? He was sitting beside the road. He was sitting at the gate to the city of Jericho. He was sitting. Not much life there was there. But after after his encounter with Jesus, he was no longer sitting. He was following. And he literally had a new life. You know, the letter attributed to James, let's go back to Scripture, James says this, If people say they have faith but do nothing, their faith is worth nothing. Advent's a good time. A good time to make a fresh start. A time to stop sitting and start or restart following. St. Paul says this in 1 Corinthians. He says, everything we have, right thinking and right living, a clean slate and a fresh start, comes from God by way of Jesus Christ. Bartimaeus had no idea that Jesus was going to pass his way that day, but God gave him an unexpected opportunity, an opportunity that gave him a fresh start. For you see, 
God has given you the same opportunity. Today might be the day to take the first step, to get unstuck. Don't delay. Take that first step or the next step before the opportunity passes you by. We hope to see you Sunday morning for Christ the King Sunday, this Sunday in church or online, and then the week after is the first Sunday in Advent. So we hope that you will join us for those of you in the United States. Have a pleasant and happy Thanksgiving. We hope you did. For everyone else in all those parts of the world where you tune in, we thank you for joining us and we'll hope to see you soon as we step off and step out of the rut to the advent, to the beginning of a new day and quite possibly a new life together. See you soon. Take care, y'all. Thank you.